Goddess Kring Radio. Shannon Kringen. Goddess Kring. Shannon Kringen. Goddess Kring. Breathing. 
reading, reading, seeing, dreaming, dreaming, orange, fluffy, feline. Let go, let go of the filter. Empathy and for the predator. Sympathy for the deviator. You're listening to Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. This is Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen. Podcast number 47. I just got back from a little mini vacation I took at the Lake Quinault Lodge. And my boyfriend and I visited Ruby Beach. I took a lot of amazing photographs. Sadly, because of the forest fires, um, that's the sad part. The good part is that there's an amazing sunset that my boyfriend and I witnessed at Ruby Beach. And I took photos of the very strange clouds and very reddish orange sun that has a distinct round shape to it when there's smoke in the atmosphere and the ocean air felt nice and clean and fresh despite the smoke now that I'm back in Seattle there's ash falling from the sky very subtly and I'm trying not to inhale too much of it being really careful But if you want to see the photographs I took, I also did some new underwater photographs and I put those on my Instagram and my Flickr and my Facebook and my Twitter. (laughs) It's all over the place. If you just go to ShannonKringen.com, then all of my social media websites are linked to that. And now enjoy more Audio Kring Speak Experimental. And I might be actually going vegan again. I was vegan off and on since the age of 15, actually. I was vegetarian off and on. And then I was vegan in my early 20s because I visited some dairy farms with my boyfriend at the time. And we visited some small dairy farms. And I was horrified to see these were the small ones. And those poor cows live in pretty nasty conditions with... Their hooves were all like too long and they didn't have time to trim their hooves and they had um, holes like their ears were torn up with their tags and the baby calves are taken away from the mother calves and never allowed to nurse on their moms and basically cows are just sort of slaves for humans literally so I decided to not eat any dairy products after that and then I took a trip to Mexico and started eating meat and dairy again because there wasn't a whole lot of options if I wanted to be a strict vegan in Mexico. And then ever since I got back from Mexico, I'd kind of been off and on vegetarian, semi-vegan. I don't really buy milk. When I buy cheese, I tend to buy European cheese because it's a little higher quality than American cheese, generally speaking, in terms of more pasture-raised animals and smaller farms and just kind of a different less chemically GMO based way of doing things in um, like France and England and Germany and lots of different European countries that I have been to and have friends in. But I generally am happy feeding my cat a raw meat diet because he's a carnivore and that's what he needs. But I feel like generally I feel perfectly fine without eating a lot of meat or dairy products. So I stopped eating drinking milk a long time ago and then I occasionally have ice cream so now I think I'm going to switch to coconut if I crave ice cream to get the coconut milk kind and my boyfriend is a big time carnivore and eats a lot of meat and he's from the south so he knows how to cook meat really well and kind of grew up with biscuits and gravy and lots of meat and that's just not me I'm more of a health food person grew up in California Uh, My dad and I both are huge fans of like green smoothies and like really healthy type stuff like nuts and seeds and fruits and vegetables and hemp protein powder. I make this amazing green smoothie with mixed kale 
hemp protein powder that's raw hemp with no uh, sweetener added to it and no other fillers added, just raw hemp protein. And then I put maca powder, chia seed, hemp seed, flax seed, blueberries, organic banana, mango, and artesian well spring water that I get. So lucky to live in a place that has clean water and I make these amazing smoothies and with acai and that's one of the fruits that I love and yeah and then I eat um I'm I still don't eat wheat I cut wheat out of my diet four years ago and I still don't eat wheat and I do consume oats and potatoes and every once in a while I'll have some rice but not very often so when I make oatmeal, I either get steel cut oats or I definitely get whole oats that are not the quick kind, but the old fashioned kind of oats. Try to get non-GMO, gluten free, because sometimes oats are mixed with wheat. That's why they sometimes have gluten in them accidentally. So although some people argue that there's something called oat gluten, but usually gluten refers to wheat gluten and not just gluten in general or um, whatever it's called, I forgot. But <laughs> generally I got rid of wheat out of my diet four years ago to help my thyroid out and to make a long story short, it worked and I didn't need to take thyroid medication anymore. And so I've stayed wheat free for the last four years and I, I'm, I'm used to it now, it just seems normal. But I am reincorporating oats into my diet and I, I get steel cut oats and then I put chia seed, hemp seed, flax seed, and what is it called? Amaranth and quinoa, which I guess quinoa is a seed. And then I take, um, what is it, dates, and I, I chop them up. For sweetener, I use dates. Dates are so good, and they have fiber and minerals and vitamins, and they taste great. And it's just a sweetener that's made by nature and not refined cane sugar or corn syrup. I sometimes eat raw honey that's unrefined. Uh, and then I put also frozen organic blueberries on top of my, and then also mixed dried fruit with no sugar added on top of my oatmeal. And I don't put any milk or, or um, I also don't drink almond milk or soy milk, but a lot of people that want to go vegan can switch to different kinds of, of non-animal product, you know, plant-based um, milk. But I went off of those too because they have guar gum and soy lecithin and different like fillers in them in addition to the almonds and the soy and the rice. So I just went off of that and I, I usually have black coffee with no sweetener and no cream. And then I have... My smoothie also just has water and fruit and protein and greens and no milk and no sweetener. So I just naturally sweeten with fruit. So these are some of my nutritional things that I do. And then the opposite for my cat, I feed him no carbs. I feed him a carnivorous diet, which is raw frozen meat that I get at the health food pet store. And his health has skyrocketed to a good, good, good level ever since I switched him about eight or nine months ago. The vet thought he might be diabetic. It turns out he's not and he's fine and his liver and kidneys are fine and his blood sugar is fine and he just, his health, his coat is healthier and shinier and he doesn't have dandruff anymore and he doesn't constantly pee and drink water and even his little cute little cat poops have changed into more firm dark little poops instead of like really stinky runny diarrhea my cat um, has really easy digestion and his poop doesn't even smell very strongly anymore so it's very different uh, f from him eating um, you know natural whole meat and this is like organ meats ground up with um, the other parts of the meat what do you call it like thighs and like the like the kind the parts of chickens that humans eat and cows and I get him uh, rabbit, venison, beef, pork, lamb, chicken, and turkey. All those different kinds of meats and I rotate them just to make sure he has diversity in his diet. 
and the kind of raw meat food I feed him is formulated so that it meets all nutritional, um, you know, it's balanced nutrition for all life stages for cats and they have it for dogs as well. And so if your cat or dog has health problems, I highly recommend trying raw food diet for them. And a lot of people are afraid of the bacteria, but it's not really, it's dangerous for humans to eat raw meat with like salmonella and whatever bad bacteria there is. But for cats and dogs, their digestive system is very different from ours. And what I do is I keep my cat's uh, meat food frozen at all times. And then I just take out really small batches to keep it really fresh for him. He sometimes will even chew it when it's still kind of frozen, but usually he waits till it thaws out a bit and then he just chews on it and he licks his bowl clean. He loves it. And the previous food I fed him, he would waste half of it. So I guess I'm doing a monologue on nutrition now. So for me, I am doing a mostly plant-based diet. I've been watching documentaries and I know the meat and dairy industry sadly actually sponsor the what is it? The diabetes, heart disease, and what's the last one? Cancer, diabetes, and heart disease are, you know, really serious problems. And the meat and dairy industry and various large corporations actually sponsor those organizations. And so their nutritional guidelines are really not very honest because they're very biased because the meat and dairy industry is a very large big profit making business and so I would just gonna say nothing wrong with making a profit but if you're selling something that's not healthy for people and it's bad for the environment and bad for the animals then that's kinda sad so basically I've been watching these documentaries and I kind of already knew this but it just kind of reminded me of the reality so for the environment for my own health and for the welfare of animals I feel better eating mostly a plant-based diet so I am incorporating more fruits and vegetables and beans and nuts and seeds into my diet. And I'm going to take a vitamin B12 or vitamin co uh, B complex vitamin to, into my diet to make sure that I'm getting enough of the B vitamins. I also eat nutritional brewer's yeast, which is fortified with the B vitamins. And that's a vegan way to get your B vitamins. And what else? I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go. So I'm, I'm eat, drinking a lot of green smoothies and eating oats and nuts and seeds and beans. And then my boyfriend, he likes to cook a lot of meat. So I might uh, still have meat with him, but I'll have a very, very, very small portion if he is cooking meat. I might eat it if I feel okay. Although last time I ate a cow, um, you know, some steak, I felt kind of like I felt the need to cry practically because I felt weird about it. So like I was being a cannibal or something. So I might not even do that. But if he, you know, cooks amazing meat that he loves to cook, I'll bring a bunch of vegetables. And so I am into the big salads and I love guacamole and salad with kale and nutritional yeast and sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and you know, almonds and a bunch of different vegetables and really good dressing like apple cider vinegar and avocado oil or olive oil for dressing. And so thank you for listening. I just wanted to share a little bit about nutrition. Now enjoy more of Goddess Kring on Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. This is podcast number 47. Thanks for listening. And if you have any questions or comments, just go to shannonkringen.com and find my contact email page and you can ask me questions or comments or find me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and just I'm all over the internet. I've um, got my photos on my Flickr photo stream, offer my photos free to publish under the Creative Commons license. So I do a lot of different kinds of artwork and I welcome questions and comments. So thanks for listening. Sorgeist, Sorgeist, Sorgeist,
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Zubitz.
Urgila, 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 Urgila. Dissolve the cranium pattern, 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 
Lit up the lanterns, light the dark up with inner lanterns. Shatter, shall you be? Be a newbie with the card down. Dropping, dropping, drop baggage. Awake to now. Allow a bow. A full dance. Give it a chance. Play with material existence. Insist on the light-hearted, loving presence. Infused in every cell, every pore alive. Trust nature, trust nature, trust ingest, ingest what you want to manifest. Drop the rusty drop chain, the rusty drop chain the rusty out of the rusty cage. Aged, 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 everything will be alright. More and more off the grid. Putting a lid on phony baloney. Decrease the corporation. Increase cooperation. Incast the outcast. Highlight the underdog. Unity in diversity. Don't need no university. Universal out of her shell. Don't need no rehearsal. A total reversal. Zombie spell. Dwelling in her shell. Safe and secure. Yet risky and rare. Shan and Kringen, Goddess Kring, Hollow Earth Radio, Seattle, Podcast Number 41. Trust nature, ingest what you want to manifest. Put it to the test. 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 Nice Oh, 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 oh,
sense of self, tangible desire for wealth, decrease the corporation, increase cooperation, incast the outcast, outcast the incast, incast the outcast, outcast, the incast. Decrease the corporation, increase cooperation, fragile sense of self, tangible desire for wealth, a 
authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange, liquid glow, anger takes its toll, in cast the outcast, outcast the in cast, decrease the corporation, increase cooperation, in cast the outcast, outcast the in cast, fragile sense of self, tangible desire for wealth, in cast the outcast, outcast the in cast, decrease the corporation, increase cooperation, iconoclast landed here, iconoclast landed here, in cast the outcast, Outcast the in cast. Decrease the corporation. Increase cooperation. Unwrap the mummy <laughs> unwrap the mummy running clap away the trap a cano class landed here in cast the outcast outcast the in cast Blasting, puritanical, canister, common ground, astounded in the round, center well, do tell, out of shell, unguarded, no longer martyred, Vexing, letting ampersands free to a degree, free to be you and me. Uncover what's within, releasing chemical. Hardwired competition. Decrease the corporation. Increase cooperation. In cast the outcast. Outcast the in cast. Intuition coming to fruition. Thrive on dead lines, alive in headlines. Thrive on dead lines, alive in headlines. Unwrap the mummy running. Unwrap the mummy running. Clap away the trap. Iconoclast landed here. In cast the outcast. 
outcast, the incast, decrease the corporation, increase cooperation, authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow, anger takes its toll, fragile sense of self, tangible desire for wealth, decrease the corporation, increase cooperation, in cast the outcast, outcast the in cast. Thrive on deadlines, alive in headlines. Thrive on deadlines, alive in headlines. In cast the outcast, outcast the in cast. Decrease the corporation, increase cooperation. In cast the outcast, outcast the in cast. Unwrap the mummy. Unwrap the mummy. Clap away the trap. Iconoclast landed here. Iconoclast landed here. In cast the outcast. Outcast the in cast. Blasting puritanical canister, authentic ejaculation of our soul, molten orange liquid glow, anger takes its toll, in cast the outcast, outcast. The in cast. Thrive on deadlines, alive in headlines. Thrive on deadlines, alive in headlines. In cast, the outcast, outcast, the in cast.
Why don't you do don't you right, right why don't you like why some don't you other like men some do? Men do. Men Just do. get out Just of here, get out of here. Out give me here. some give money me some too. Money too. Money too. Money why don't you why do, don't you right, do right, right, right like some right, other some men do? Why don't you do right, do right like some like men do? Just get out of here. Give me some money too. I actually don't like the lyrics to that, but I'm just trying to sing like a normal song. Just to see. 300 smoothies, cone, fish eye, orange cone with the green juice. On the extra abstracto fish eye cone, double black and white. Glory, glory, us, cream mix left only. Obviously up there, the sky is falling. Fish eye walk, mini Honda orange, mini electric, mini electric, mini electric, mo. Miniature giant Honda me. 42 and shoe, warp love, warp taxi speed, three bending me, double bending me, double trouble. Trouble. Muddled in the thinking, Muddled Rapunzel the thing. leaves Rapunzel speak, leaves. Rapunzel holy leaves, holy inverted leaves. rainbow, inverted dumped, rainbow. Dumped. 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 neon leaves, neon leaves, neon leaves, neon leaves, leaving, leaves. The, leaf leaving the leaf dance, dance. fall duet, seeing, seeing through to truth, marine, hand silo, Stella facing, the big saturated, interview dessert, the desert, wow, softened, Magical accent, magical accent, magical circle, on the foggy moon, foggy rain, change is good, change is good, good, change is good, conversation, 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 Thanks for tuning in to Hollow Earth Radio Seattle. This is Goddess Kring, podcast number 47. I'm Shannon Kringen, your host. Goddess Kring Radio, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring.